Hi there, uh, my name is Mike Hosier. So we have a very special birthday coming up this month. It is the first birthday for our second litter of puppies. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to do something a little different with this video and bring you guys along as I work on just a small graphic design project. In this case, I thought we would do some um, birthday cards for the puppy's birthday. And so I picked up these envelopes and they are four and three eighths by five and three quarters. So I'm gonna make a document about four by five and a half and I'm gonna use Adobe Photoshop. Typically with this type of design work, I'll use either Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, but I'm gonna use Photoshop here because I actually have photographs that I had taken of each puppy from when they were still here with us. Um, so I have these uh, nice high quality images that I'm gonna use as part of this design, which will make things go a little bit faster um, and it'll be less work that we can do. And plus it's, you know, what better way to customize um, each card than have a photo of each puppy. So in between the graphic design work, I thought we would do a little video montage of when the puppies were still with us. I think that would be fun for us to kind of revisit that time and for their owners to be able to see their now dogs as puppies again and then be able to watch this over and over again on YouTube. And then if you're new here and you haven't seen our puppies yet, this should be a fun exercise for you as well. So let's jump in and have some fun. Now, I have already preloaded layers with the photographs of the puppies. Layers are a really great way to group your items together in Photoshop. So I'm gonna work on this really neat image of Leo. Uh, Leo is our dark green collar puppy. Um, and what, what we're gonna do to begin with is I wanna put everything on the page that I know that I need. So I've already imported the logos. I'm just gonna turn that on in the layers palette. And now you can see that we have uh, the Moose Golden Retrievers logo. This is one of, this is the high drive logo that I call it. Um, so I'm not gonna wanna place it there, but it's okay where it is for right now. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna just grab my type tool, which is over here, and I'm just gonna click on the document anywhere and I'm going to type happy birthday. So it's coming out white because white is on the foreground of my color palette here. So I'm just gonna switch that to black. I'm gonna just kind of reduce the size of this a little bit. It's at 30 points. So I'm just gonna, I'll bump that down to 20 for now. So seeing that this is a birthday card, we know that we want to say happy birthday. I also know that I want the puppy's name. So we're gonna put his name, which is Leo. I'm not gonna worry about color or anything like that right now. So I'll just put that on there and leave that off to the side. <clears throat> And notice here in my layers palette, each time I start typing, the way that I'm, um, when I click off and then click on again, um, each time I start typing, it's creating a new layer. And that's how I like to work. And I'll show you more on that here in a little bit. So what else do I want on here? Seeing this is a branded item, I should put our web address on there. So I'll put that on there. Okay. And Leo is turning one. So I wanna have something that indicates um, his age. So I'm gonna start with just putting number one on there. And I think number one on its own is just kind of bland. Um, so I'm actually gonna put the number sign and one. Um, and then to make this a little bit more interesting, we're gonna just put, <coughs> your number one. Okay, so now this is kind of a play on words where uh, we're showing that you know he's turning one, but he's also number one, right? He's top dog. So I think that's all of the content that I want on the page, the photo, logo, and then the type. So now what I'm going to do is start to organize these layers. So I'm gonna jump over here to my layer palette and I'm gonna open up the folder here in my layers that I have for Leo, and I'm just gonna grab all these and then just drop that down in his folder. So now you can see how it's gonna keep all this content organized for Leo. So if I, if I wanted to turn Leo's um, layers off, I could turn him off and everything will go away, except for the logo. Now, the reason why I want the logo to not be inside of Leo is because the logo is going to be something that's gonna be static on every card. See, because each 
puppy's birthday card is going to have something unique to that puppy. Um, so for right now, what that unique thing will be is the puppy's name. But everything else will probably pretty much be the same. We'll make some of those decisions later on in the design process. I did notice one other thing though, um, the web address. We don't want that to be part of Leo. We want that to be part of the brand. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that up into the brand folder uh, with the logo. So now we have all our contents. I could turn off the brand folder, the logo and the web address will go away. I could turn off Leo and all Leo's content will go away. So now as we get into the design process, I can start to formulate the layout. The layout is going to consist of the color, the size of the typography, and the position of all the elements. So let's get started. So I actually am really happy with that layout. I might just adjust the position of Leo just a little bit on the page just to make sure everything's in balance. But I really like that layout. Um, but I don't really necessarily like the color. So what I want to do now is I want to start to play with some color. So let's see. I think the Moose Goldens here will make that um, the same color as the logo. What I'm going to do is grab uh, what's called the eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool allows me to pick up a color that I'm using somewhere else. So I'm going to pull the same color that I'm using from the logo, since that's part of the brand element. I also think I'd want to, to capitalize Moose and Goldens. It's just a quirky thing. I also think I would like to take Happy Birthday and also um, either use one of these colors, this color here, or maybe a color from Leo, which is also very similar to that. <clears throat> so as far as his name, seeing that Leo was our gr dark green collared puppy, I think what I want to do is select a dark green color, which I believe is similar to his collar color. Um, so here, once again, I'm in the color palette, but I'm also using the eyedropper tool to select a color similar, and I'll just make some fine tweaks um, till I get a color that I feel comfortable with. That looks good. So the last thing I want to do is add some color to your number one. So there you have it. You have a completed design of one birthday card for Leo. So what I'm going to do next, instead of bore you with all the tedious work, we're going to swing back to that video montage and then we'll come back to this later.
So I hope you all have been enjoying the video montage. There'll be a little bit more of that after we do a quick update here on the design. So I've gone through and I've created layouts for all the puppy images and I'm just going to show those to you real quick. So here's where we left off. I made a few little alterations. So here's Leo's card. Once again, using green to symbolize the puppy's collar color. So here's Leo. Here's Archie. Archie was our dark blue puppy. And here's Murphy. She was our light blue color. Um, I called it sky blue. There's Hudson. He was lime green. And Knox was orange. Emma was pink. Waffle was purple. Willie was tan. Britain was yellow, and maple was silver, silver maple, and finally Bo was red. And notice Bo's layout is slightly different because uh, I used a different style photo. And I also added this small tagline, may the force be with you, as the owners are big Star Wars fans. So there you have it folks, we've successfully designed 11 birthday cards. Now I have to print these out cut them to size, and then ship them. Having taken the images previously was a huge help to this, and I'm gonna to continue to do that with each litter as we move forward. So thank you for joining in here. Uh, now stick around, there's a little bit more of that video montage coming right up. Well, that's going to do it for today. And once again, live your life, love your dogs, and give them their best life.